Hey Scorpio, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you guys your weekly floor reading because two cards and fell on the floor. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves during eclipse season and the Mercury retrograde. Well look at that. That was on the bottom. That Ace of Wands, a fiery new beginning, right? Something exciting going on. Emotionally, you feel sound, Scorpio. Let me get my shuffle life in order and we could start or continue. Cupper, Six of Wands. Do we dare? Yes! Nine of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Yes, Scorpio. Yes, baby. You guys are, oh, I just got chills around the shoulders, cheeks, and eyes. <sighs> this is good, right? This is, this is good. You got wands and cups. Wands are the pokey things, right? You have some sort, you've just initiated something uh, that was passion, passionate and incredibly loving. A lot of you guys are enjoying family, friends, time alone. Good grief, Scorpio. You tree sitters may have left the tree. Okay, we got the six of wands here uh, representing triumph and victory. Ten of cups is your happily ever after. Nine of pentacles is abundance. And the eight of wands is just downloads, fast moving information, uh, momentum, angels are saying. So I kind of feel like something has sparked your interest. Something has activated your heart, Scorpio. Good Moses. Okay. So. Um, also, too, I'm going to try to do a love reading. Excuse me. Love, money, and whatever. Whatever is basically anything else outside of love and money. Ooh, six of pentacles. Ooh, excuse me. That's eight of pentacles. Get your shit right, Alex. All right. There you tree sitters go. Hey, babies. Nine of cups. Six of swords. Six of wands again. Scorpio, you are on the move. You have three sixes here on the table. You got the eight of pentacles. Um, you have the ten of swords here. This, this kind of looks like Scorpio saying, I came, I saw, I'm going back up under my tree, Alex. <laughs> tree sitter, stop. Um, this is something new and exciting related to work, related to something you've been working on. Could have been yourself. Um, I'm also hearing too, some of you guys might have upgraded your look. Don't ask. Like you could have colored your hair, got a new haircut. Um, I, this almost feels like a revamping or rebirth process even. Somebody wants to get to know you, right? If this is a love reading, let's call this love with all these cups. Somebody wants to get to know you and I feel like this person communicates that to you. Okay? With the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords, my cut master flex, um... I feel like this person expresses how they feel about you. They like spending time with you. They're starting to develop emotions for you. They like what they learned so, or what they know so far about you, Scorpio, and they want to keep this going. Now, in true Scorpio format, Scorpio is like, what? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Like, um, you're being cautious about this particular situation which again is typical for you, Scorpio, okay? Not only that, but you are under your 10 of swords. It's like, wait a minute, right? This three of cups, that's celebration. That's hanging out with your peoples, your tribe, whomever this person is or whatever this situation is. Right now, it's just flowing too smoothly for Scorpio. It's like, listen, I need a speed bump, a road bump, a rock or something. Now, with the Four of Cups, I kind of feel like you're not all, you're not convinced. You're not all in yet, Scorpio. You sitting there with your stinger all ready, getting it all shined and brightened up. And um, I also kind of feel like whomever this person is or whatever this situation is, and I'll tell you 
who I think this person is in a second. Holy shit. Did you guys notice there are no major arcanas on the table? <sighs> oh no, Scorpio. This one's all about you. But I love it. I love it. I love it. Because cup, 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 wand. I also kind of feel like this passion does extend to sex, right? I do. Like some of you guys have just had sex with somebody. You're exploring having sex with somebody. This person makes you feel very passionate, very loving. And I feel like the next step is Scorpio's fire, baby. Okay. And the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Again, you're monitoring this person. You're observing this person. You are approaching this situation very cautiously. Scorpio, I don't know who the hell you dealing with, but they have amazing uh, intentions, right? They ain't a bad card at that top row, okay? Um, again, you guys probably have been dating this person and everything has been going well. The thing that I like about the Six of Wands on the top part of this, whomever it is that you're dealing with, they're coming out of uh, possibly a toxic situation I'm hearing, a very challenging situation, a very um, chaotic situation. And they know they're not looking for no drama. Mary J. Blige, get on. We're not doing no drama. You know what I mean? With the Ten of Cups, they just want to be happy. Now, here's the, the kicker here, Scorpio, because I feel like whomever it is you're dealing with, they might know that you're already the dime piece. Right, and this person ain't coming with no pennies, Scorpio. If you're a hundred dollar bill, they may at least be able to meet you at ninety dollars. Okay, so that kind of says that this person is bringing way more to the table than you're used to. Not only that, but I also kind of feel like August, Eight of Wands for me. I don't know why is August. Okay, but I feel like you guys are gonna make this official in August. Angels just said if Scorpio doesn't self sabotage. Okay, all right, we'll speak to that in a minute. But I feel like Eight of Wands, that's that momentum, right? Remember we talked about when you're launching Law of Attraction, don't go sit under the couch, don't go sit under your tree. You gotta get out there and start dating and socialize and show the world your sexy self, Scorpio. You have caught somebody's eye, you have. This person has Libra in their moon placement. Okay, they could have Scorpio in their moon placement as well. Notice that she is the only court card here. Scorpio, things look like they're going with the flow for you. You got 666, six, six, so things are moseying right along. Yeah, you're being cautious. You're, you got one foot in, five toes out, you know, kind of waiting to give this person their walking papers again because because of this cautiousness not only that but the thing that i like here believe it or not about the swords cards right the thing that i like here is that you're done with the overthinking you're done with the creating scenarios that are not reality you're done with mistakenly giving somebody a warning stinging shot right it's almost like okay we're done with that let me just observe 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 instead of yielding that sword but not necessarily yielding that sword on your person but more on yourself this is the self-sabotaging and how it affects you okay so oh angel said they took your advice because you are learning this person as well which is why you're in observation mode and it's not my advice it's angelic advice so you're in observation mode a lot of you guys, you ain't put your heart on the table. It's like, listen, Bert, I ain't putting shit on the table unless you put your heart on the table first. Well, guess what? This person is going to beat you to the punch, Scorpio. They're going to see your nine with their 10. Again, they know already, Scorpio, that you, um, angels just said, light up their lives. Okay, Crystal Gale. Um, oh, y'all just f figured out how old I am. <laughs> But uh, with the Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups, I think that was Crystal Gale. Um, with the Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups, um, they're happy. They're happy with you. And in return, when they express that to you, you're going to be happy with them as well. This person likes spending time with you. Um, they could see themselves being with you. You make them happy. You're very um, complete, I'm hearing. Very balanced. Very um, healthy, right? Right mentally, emotionally, psychologically. 
Um, and I feel like this, this person is about to make you an offer, Scorpio, and move this thing along relatively quick. I'm also hearing this Libra uh, moon person, they do tend to move quick themselves. So they have to, you know, kind of quote unquote, slow it down. I feel like they've had issues like that in the past. And Scorpio, you're mirroring them because you too, sorry for the multiple light um, shining. But I feel like in the past too, Scorpio, you have, you know, kind of jumped the gun, kind of moved very quickly in your relationships. But with this person, again, <clears throat> you've been working on yourself. You've been working on yourself and you've been kind of taking angelic advice. You've been looking out for the red flags. You've been trying to get to know this person. You're trying to make sure that they reciprocate. You're trying to make sure that they come to the table again with, you know, with again, nickels, quarters, dimes, dollar bills, you know, $90 to your hundred dollars. But in the process, you are being logical, right? You're using your intuition. You're making sure that the, these swords um, are coming from you versus coming from them. I love this Scorpio. I love this so much, right? A lot of you guys, again, you're not even seeing other people are dating. This is the only person that you may be considering, but they don't know it and they're not gonna know it until they put their stuff on the table. And this is funny, right? Because we have the nine of cups here, which is them saying, I really like you. I really like spending time with you. You're a lot of fun. You know, I can see myself with you. How about you and I make this official? Then Scorpio's like, you know, you're observing, you're watching, you're keeping your tail at bay. Once they make you the offer, you'll, con you'll consider it. You're like, okay, Rob, I'm only seeing you. And yeah, I like you too. And okay, we could do this. You know, let's kind of go slow or take our time and see where it goes. And then it's just going to pick up really, really quick. And again, the only thing I have to offer here is this person has a moon in Libra. I don't even know their sun sign. Angels are saying, well, it could be any sun sign. They have a moon in Libra or they could have a moon in Scorpio or you may have a moon in Libra or moon in Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, this one snuck up on you. <laughs> this is snuck up on you. Nice. All right, so let's talk about Scorpio's money, honey. We've talked about love. Now let's talk about money and then we'll talk about whatever, whatever else. What's going on with Scorpio's money? Money, money, money. Ooh, star. To me, that is um, prestige. That is rank. That is power. That is achieving um, a, a higher up position, a notar notable position. A uh, star could also represent fame, right? A lot of people knowing your name. Um, but angels just said, no, Scorpio gets the gold star from the universe. Amazing. Amazing. Scorpio, the universe has given you a gold star. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ten of, ten of wands. Again, you got two ten. Well, you got three tens on the table. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Okay. Two of swords. Okay. So this is money. Y'all know, you see what I'm saying? Anytime I do a money reading, cups comes out. I feel like for a lot of you guys, yeah, you're really popular. 10 of wands is you're struggling right now because you got a lot, on, a lot of responsibilities. Angels are saying manifest a tribe, right? Manifest assistance, manifest people to help you out. Um, I really do feel like that is going to make a huge difference. Um, angels are also saying envision, 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 because it feels like right now with all that you have going on with this 10 of wands, the burdens, the restrictions, the uphill battle, you're, it's almost like you can't see a way out. Um, angels are also saying to beware of burnout. And again, this is related to money. Now, what they were wanting me to do is read all three cards related to money. So you have an Ace of Wands, a Star, and an Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are working your asses off, whether it's your job or your business or uh, however you make money, um, you're starting to become more popular. Angels are saying word of mouth, word of mouth. Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups, and a Queen of Swords. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, um, I love this. I'm hearing that whatever it is that you do, 
You do it authentically, right? That's what the Queen of Swords is. A lot of you guys, like myself, could be tarot readers as well. I do kind of feel like um, you love what you do, but every now and then um, that Ten of Wands is, you know, burdens and obstacles and basically just needing to kind of quote unquote drop things. And it feels like not necessarily just drop things. I'm also hearing delegate. With the magician, the three of cups and the ten of swords, yeah. And you got the three of cups here and the three of cups here. So it's time, say for instance, for you guys start to start to bring in other people to help you out. What I'm also hearing is group activities, right? So whatever it is that you do, and it, instead of selling, say for instance, to an individual customer, you now may start to sell to groups. What I'm also hearing too, for those of you who are in corporate, you will start to um, maybe socialize with your coworkers as well. <clears throat> yeah, angels are also saying too, for some of you guys, you sit around sometimes and just get in your head and maybe imagine and, and daydream about the life that you want. With the magician, it's like, uh-uh, don't, don't talk about it, be about it. As in, make it happen instead of you kind of sitting up under your tree wishing and wondering if it could happen to you. You get the six of wands, the four of cups, and then the three of cups. Yeah, you, um, angels are saying, yeah, you guys have to get out. And I know we talked about that in previous readings, but it's almost like the six of wands and the three of cups. I think a little, you know, social life right now, a re revamp of your social life would actually do you good, Scorpio, and actually bring a lot more joy and happiness into your life. Now, speaking of joy and happiness, right? It, this to me is almost like all work, no play. The universe is saying play, play, play. Okay, now with the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, it's like, good Lord, Scorpio, you're about to be as, as happy as a bug in a rug. Mm-hmm. I also kind of feel like um, not just with your relationships, but also in your business affair too, I feel like somebody may discover you. Holy hell. Yeah, somebody may discover you, and you may have to drop everything but this is something that you've been manifesting to bring more happiness and joy. Angels are also saying too, to do things in bulk. Okay. As in a bunch of things at one time, instead of one thing at a time. So even for those of you guys who may be in manufacturing production or things of that nature, I feel like, um, you could get a manufacturing sub uh, contract where somebody may help to reproduce your goods and services. Three of Cups being happy, and this is what you've asked. This is what you've asked for. So you are on your way, Scorpio. So keep doing what you're doing, especially when it comes to your job, your business, any sort of investment. And if you're paying down your debt, keep going because the light at the end of the tunnel is sitting right here. Angels just said happiness, um, happiness, sunshine, and Scorpio feeling good. Ooh. I'm going to be nosy and ask what day or when do you see that happening? Angels just said in uh, Gemini season, we're in, are we in Gemini season or still in Taurus season? We are still in Taurus season, I, be, I believe. So come Gemini season, Scorpio, you're going to have, I feel like you're going to have, you're going to, um, angels are saying stardom. I feel like you're going to be discovered. I'm sorry. When I see this light and the other star here, which is the star itself, it's almost like some, you're going to be discovered. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me not repeat. Let me move on. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and also the Six of Swords. Six of Swords represents, you know, kind of moving on and moving away. That's my get the hell out of Dodge card, especially swords being thought and communication. This is confused, excuse me, this is confusion and that's abundance. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, when it comes to your money, you won't have to work as hard for it. All right. We got seven of cups, um, the nine of pentacles and the six of swords. I have like a horrible light situation going on here. As you guys can tell, see, you can't see the sun card. Okay. So keep, keep doing what you're doing, Scorpio, because with the six of wands and the eight of wands, things are going to move along very quickly. Not only that, but angels just said things are going to move you along very quickly. 
And look at this. I just slid it off where you have the high priestess and also the two of swords. You can't see this coming. A lot of you guys are in denial, right? You can't see this coming. So continue doing what you're doing, uh, Scorpio, because the universe is about to surprise them out of you. Now we have Aquarius. We have Gemini. We have Leo. Aquarius, Gemini, and Leo. So we got air and fire. Yeah, angels just said a strike of lightning. Um, I'm also seeing look for a sign. Okay, I didn't see the card yet. I wonder if the card is going to come out. But when I read off those three signs, I heard look for a sign. So now when it comes to whatever, what other messages do you have for Scorpio? Take action. Trust. Wow. Trust is a four letter word to Scorpio, even though it's five letters. Take action and trust. Keep moving. Keep going forward. Just keep doing what you're doing, Scorpio. Within the next few weeks, I got to get my, my light uh, situation in order over here. This just fell in my lap. Not the right time. Card at the bottom. Remain positive. Nice. So that kind of says that these things that are happening, they're all in divine timing, obviously, right? Because it's like not the right time. It says remain, uh, remain positive. Wait. Okay. Where did I, what did I do with my other cards? There we go. Uh, remain positive. Uh, oh my God. There we go. Remain positive. It's not the right time for now. Trust the process and take action. And within the next few weeks, you'll see results. I had this one as the remain positive. Okay, Mercury, thank you for conducting, conducting this reading. We appreciate you. Now, bye. Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If this very dark reading does resonate, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment. And if you're interested in a personal reading or signing up for my group coaching for spiritual development being held on May 21st, between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, click the link in the description box. See Mercury? I had I took my time with that. Anyway, Scorpio, I love you. Bye.